So you're ready to start your coaching program and you thought you might have a conversation with your boss to see if the business can pay? Well, I've got some amazing tips for you here today that are tried and tested and very successful. A participant in a conference I spoke at recently called me afterwards and said that she wanted me to coach her, which is really cool because I love working with action takers. And she said, I've already decided I'm gonna pay for coaching myself, but I was thinking maybe I could ask work to pay for it. So we had a chat and she walked away with clarity on exactly how to approach the conversation with her boss. And I'd like to add, her coaching has been fully paid for by the business. So this is totally worth your time. Because for many professionals and leaders, this is an option. Having work pay for your coaching program either in part or in full. Many of my clients do pay for it out of their own pocket because they can easily recognize the ROI for them both personally and professionally. But for those of you that are keen to have work pay for your coaching, here are some pointers for where you can start. Because as you know, if you don't ask, you don't get. Firstly, let me just touch on why you might want coaching and how you can benefit. I mean, there's lots of different types of coaching and coaches out there. Many, many, many coaches. Many, many, many coaches out there. And not all of them are effective, qualified, nor experienced. But that aside, the main areas I find professionals and leaders want help for, from coaching is to develop new skills or further develop skills in mindset, behaviors, and perspectives suited to career leadership and life. Exceptional coaches also act as a neutral and unbiased sounding board to support new ideas and offer accountability for enhanced outcomes for career, leadership, and life. So do you think you could do with a bit of that? And you also want to ask work to pay? Here are the first three things to keep in mind to set you up for a successful outcome. Number one, where to start. Find out if your position and the business has access to a learning and development budget. A client of mine mentioned to her boss in passing that she was looking to engage me for coaching and her boss's reply, you've had access to a development budget for the last three years and you haven't used it. Why don't you use it for coaching? This is not always the case, but it would certainly be beneficial to get clear if you already have access to this in your current role or budget. Use it to skyrocket your results. Number two, build your case. Identify three to five specific areas you would like to see personal improvement and share that with your boss. You may be able to incorporate it into your employee development program that your employer already has in place. This shows you're taking an active role in your growth as an employee and want to invest the time it takes to become an even more valuable employee. Some specific areas people like to be coached in are strengthening influence, leadership and development, personal and leadership brand, accountability and support, building confidence, business planning, resilience and grit, well-being and balance, and role transition. That'll keep you busy. And number three, identify the ROI, return on investment for the business. Get specific with the change you hope to achieve through coaching and how it will translate into added value for your boss and the business. Provide three to five examples of how you expect coaching will aid your personal growth and consider how this development could be demonstrated in the workplace. So rather than saying you want to build confidence, be specific. Coaching will help me build confidence and allow me to speak up more in executive meetings, share my valuable ideas with a wider audience and come across more confidently with my client interactions. And because statistics count, this will help your case too. The International Coaching Federation, ICF, studies in 2016 showed that 80% report increased confidence. To get the go-ahead from your boss, do the research and let your employer know that the average ROI on a coaching investment is 50% and often much higher, particularly if you work with me. So there you have it. Be prepared and improve your chances of an easy breezy yes. So what do you think? Want more information? I've also got a handout for you that includes more tips that will support your conversation with your boss. Get yours in the link below.
And in addition, when you are ready to really take things to a new level in your career, leadership and life, click on the link below and let's have a conversation about how you can make that happen by having a free strategy session directly with me. So you're not in the same position again next year. Click on the link below and see my schedule now. Let me know when you're ready to get started.